Hi everybody, this is Rob with Pop Eater with the busiest lady in showbiz, Selena Gomez. Hello. How are you? Very good. Thanks for joining us. Of course, thank you for having so me. So many, many things. Let's do the single first. Okay. Loving it? Thank you. Loving it. You love it too? I love it. How does that work? Do you get to pick the single from the CD or do they pick it? Oh, no, no, no. Everything. Yeah. No, no, no. It's all me. <laughs> I definitely am very, very particular with what I put out. And Who Says is perfect. I felt like it was it was a song that I needed at the moment, but I felt like my fans really needed as well. Explain it. Why, why, why did you need that song? It's extremely inspirational and it just makes me feel really good to have a positive message out there right now with the cyber bullying and bullying in school and people just... It's hard enough growing up figuring out who you are and what on, or on earth you want to be so it doesn't help when people are constantly cutting you down. And how did you learn that lesson like it passed that on to your fans like what tip do you have everybody's looking at you all the time people are criticizing you and yet you seem to be the most regular person I've met. Oh thank you but no it gets to me obviously I think that's why I, I try to reach out to my fans because I understand it it's heightened for me because you know you're maybe getting picked on at your school but I'm getting picked on by the entire world and right. critiquing everything I'm doing so it gets hard and people forget that I it hurts it hurts my feelings it does do you read stuff like are you aware of your, your image um, and who you I'm aware of what is being said about me. I don't try to. Re I don't really read like articles, articles. But I have a Twitter and I have a Facebook, so it's on. It's my Twitter, so I'm able to type on it, and I see my at replies. That it's such a quick reply uh, that can you know ruin your day. So it's 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 hard sometimes. And then, do you have you figured out yet how famous you are? Yeah. What? Come on. What? You must know things are changing for you. Like That's just in this last weird. year, your career's exploded. <laughs> oh, thank like, you. I, I was really reading stuff earlier today and, and you know stuff that I've wrote about you you're like the new it girl thanks you know I don't it know, I don't know you're that. the lead guest on David Letterman and you don't know you're the it girl <laughs> <Come on. laughs> that's so weird no once you start having that mentality that's when it goes downhill I'm just enjoying it how did you become such a good human being <laughs> that's all my mama <laughs> really? my mama and my family now, she's also your manager yes and that, you know, sometimes that doesn't work. You see famous, famous young people with parents that as managers and... Well, she's my mom first. I think that's the key. So she's my mom before she's my manager. So whenever she comes to planning things for my career or planning press days and stuff, she always is like, no, she needs 15 <laughs> minutes to rest. No, she needs this. She's going to have an hour lunch, not a 30 minute lunch. So, and I have a great team also that she surrounds me with, my agents, my publicists, everybody's just really good. Got it. Supportive. Uh, but you said earlier that you're in control. You're the boss. Uh, yes, when it comes to creative wise, certain things, but my mom's my boss for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then also a movie you're working on. Yeah, Monte Carlo comes out July 1st and it's really fun. It's a romantic comedy and it's kind of, it's kind of the next step into the film world for me, so I'm kind of nervous. Really? Why? Because it's, you know, it's my second film and hopefully people enjoy it and kind of attest. Who's come over to you and said, I've got your CD? Well, I normally go to people. <laughs> I normally go to people. Like, I went to the Vanity Fair Oscar party and I, and I saw Reese Witherspoon and I about had a heart attack. <laughs> she's amazing. So I walked up to her and I was a total goober. I was like, can I have a picture with you? And she started laughing. She was like, of course. She's like, oh my goodness, if your song naturally, if I hear that one more time, my daughter loves it. And I had a heart attack. I was like, oh my gosh, thank you. It was such a great moment. And, like, and she was nice. That's the best. When you, you admire someone and you see that she's so right. cool and down to earth. Nice. Right, because if they're not, it can... Yeah, it Ruin bums you job. out, it bums you out. I'm not going to ask you who's done that. I actually have yet to meet. Really oh, there's many, you. many. Hang out <laughs> with me for a day. There's many, there's many. And then how do we never see you in trouble? Like, there's cameras now everywhere. I never see you in the magazines or even... I don't even write mean things about you. Like, there's, there's uh. never anything mean to write about you. Do you just keep yourself out of the public eye or...? I try to as much as I can. Obviously, it's hard, but... I, I love what I do. I just want I just want the light to be on the things that I do. I don't right. want it to be on my personal life because that's not what I signed up for. Even but I know it's living in this world, I mean, the world has changed. That it's sort of part of it. It is, and I have to accept that, obviously, um, which I have. But when I do things that I consider mistakes, because I do, I'm not perfect, obviously. I kind of keep them to myself. I. I I'm smart about saying, okay, I want to learn from it myself. I don't need it to be out there. And it's hard, but I try. 
Oops. You do a great job of it. Thanks. I've been digging for months and you are <laughs> as clean as they come. Thanks for joining Thank us. We you. love you. Thank you. <laughs>so you've seen the ladies we've mm. tasted their wares so to speak and they were delicious <laughs> delicious they amber, make fabulous drinks you're warned your first warning amber we've got three fantastic backups i can't decide who but i know they're all beautiful thank you ladies thank you for being here yeah. thank you for go being here go to our here. facebook page tell us which one of these yeah ladies you, you tell like. us you vote mm -hmm. on which one of these lovely ladies can come back and hang with us and you know what you all can hang with yes, us whatever you want to we but we are on twitter ladies. we love talking to you I'm at Naughty Nice Rob. I'm at Rian and Alley. So tweet us, go to our Facebook page, and remember, if you're going to be naughty... You've got to be nice. See you next week. OK. What do you need? Just those, like, getting the okay, audio. Okay. Happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy. happy. She needs dental floss. She has, I've never nice. seen that before, actually. Let me see. It's lipstick like a piece of chicken or something. Okay. Look at the size. Fly was on time.